everyone. So, uh, for some of you who know my Instagram channel and follow me on there, you'll know that I am competing this year. Um, fingers crossed. And I wanted to kind of bring this series across onto this platform because I remember, so I first looked at competing in 2016 and all that I could see was that to compete you had to have like egg whites every day, chicken every day, fish every day. And at that point I was a pescatarian, so I could have fish, but I couldn't have meat. Um, and you didn't really ever see anything that much about kind of like vegetarian or pescatarian um, athletes. So in my head I was always there like, oh, is this possible? Like, can I get enough protein? So yeah, it was always something that I thought that I would have to eat meat for. Fast forward to the future, I'm now vegan. Um, so then I was definitely like, is this ever possible? And I have managed to find two other athletes, but when you search about like vegan bikini athletes, that it's just, you don't really see that many. So that's why I wanted to put this out there for if there are other plant-based people, vegan people, pescatarian people, um, vegetarian people that you can you can do this um, following a different diet as opposed to having chicken and rice every day. What show am I doing? I'm doing the, well, the PCA first timers in bikini category. The show was meant to be the 21st of March, so pretty much in a month's time. Um, obviously COVID is still hanging around here, so that has been pushed back. There was meant to be an update yesterday on when the new show dates would be, but um, because Mr. Bojo, never called him that, I don't know why he said that, um, Boris is doing his update on Monday. They basically said they're gonna wait until after he's done his speech in case they said something which then needed to have been changed, which is completely fine. Um, so I don't particularly know when my show is meant to be. So I was doing the first timers in Stafford and then three weeks later, there was the one in Manchester, which I was going to do. And then depending on how the first one went and if I enjoyed it, then I was going to do the Yorkshire one, which was another three weeks after the Manchester one. But that was kind of like if I enjoy it, because this entire first um, season of competing for me is kind of seeing what it's like, if I enjoy it, um, if it's the right category. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a nice little test one. I mean, it would be great if I placed and did really well in it, um, but it's more about kind of the experience and seeing if I actually enjoy the process, because it is a long process. Um, it kind of brings us nicely on to why. Why am I doing this? So it's something that I've always wanted to do since, I would say about 2015, 2016. Um, and kind of like when I first started properly getting into fitness and I would see like on Instagram and stuff, all these people competing. I was like, wow, they're so like pretty in their sparkly bikinis and stuff. And it was actually Lauren Simpson, who I think at that point she was just about like the best in her federation. Um, and I was like, wow, that is, that is something. Like it'd be so great to do that. And then it's just always been something I would say I would do. And then halfway through last year, I did a 12 week transformation of one of my PT friends. And then when I got to the end of that, I kind of had a moment where I was like, well, what, what do I do now? Like, I had like a clear goal and then I didn't. So I was kind of a bit lost. And I just thought, you know what? Maybe now is the time. So I decided to reach out to my coach who is Josh McHale. Um, um, and then I messaged him being like, hi, I'm looking at doing this. This is my current transformation. Um, let's, yeah, let's, what do you think? Shall we do it? Shall we do it? And then we did it. Um, yeah. So how long have I been prepping for so far? So I started with Josh on the 29th of October, 2020. So about four months nearly four months, October, November, December, January. Yeah, nearly four months. Um, 
yeah, obviously in that process, we've been in another two lockdowns. So I think I've actually only been in a gym for about eight weeks of that, maybe. Um, so a lot of it has been at home, which is another reason why the PCA season has been pushed back um, compared to last year where they just went ahead. Um, obviously some federations are still going ahead. Um, mine's not um, at the minute, but yeah. Um, yeah, so what is, what's it like? So my training at the minute, I'm on, I've got four different plans, two upper body, two lower body, and I do two on, one off. Um, some days, um, I'll end up doing like three in a row, because on Saturdays I train with someone. Um, so some days it kind of swings over. Um, but yeah, so they'll alternate upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, lower, like that. And then I do... I ask for core sessions, <laughs> uh, so I do those three times a week. Um, yeah, um, posing as well. Obviously, that's a massive part of it. Uh, so I am having posing sessions with Emma Heinemann. I did the four week online course with her to begin with, and then I've had I've had one session, and then I've got another one next month with her as well. Um, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Obviously you see the photos and you try and replicate it, but no, it's definitely difficult. Um, and it's like one of the big, it's one of the big things. So you have to work on it. Um, and it's, your lower back will hurt. Um, but it's just something you gotta do. Food, um, so at the minute, well, the entire process of food, because we've been through a bit of a, a bit of a system at the minute. So when we started off, it was so much food, so much food. I'm on five meals a day, um, which is a lot. Five meals a day is, yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, so at the beginning I was really um, struggling with like getting all the calories in, which is fine, but I finally got there. And then now the past two weeks, three weeks maybe, three weeks, um, my calories have started to come down again um, to kind of, make our way into land <laughs> if I was a plane uh, yeah uh, water intake as well is about three to four liters which is good um, that's nice and consistent now I went through a few weeks where I was struggling um, but no we're good now I still have to alternate like I won't have plain water I'll have like squash um, so I alternate my squashes so it's like different otherwise I just get bored uh yeah so that's that really um bikini is all booked in went for that fitting in november no it was in lockdown then must have been december it must have been the beginning of december um so that's all been chosen paid for well the deposit's been paid for um and stuff like that which is good i was meant to um Go and collect it in like two weeks but obviously that's not happening <laughs> um yeah so so far i'm feeling pretty good about it i'm enjoying the process um there are some times where i get a bit hungry because obviously i've been used to eating five big meals a day and now it starts to cut down there's times where i'm like oh, i could do with some food so i really do try and stretch it out my biggest ones in the morning where i have like i'll have my cereal with protein um shake which is just the protein powder and water. I've, there's no milk in that anymore. And then after that, I have a bagel, which I think they're actually meant to be in the same. Oh no, they are separate meals. But like sometimes I'll have like the bagel like half an hour afterwards and then I get really hungry. So now I'm trying to stretch it out. So I have the bagel like at least an hour and a half after just to kind of fill the day in. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm definitely enjoying it. It's been difficult at times, like seeing other people who are on prep because obviously everyone has different shows, which when you see first, you don't think, oh, it's okay, their show's in four weeks. Um, and like, you'll see them and then you're like, wow, they're like so much more lean than me. Um, but obviously their shows are different. Like, there's one girl who I've been talking to, her show's in seven weeks. Um, whereas mine's at least gonna be in about 10 weeks time, um, maybe nine weeks. And obviously everyone's body's completely different. Like my upper body will lean out a lot quicker than my lower body. 
and there's other people where it's the other way around so I see people's legs and I'm like oh, you can see lines and for me I'm going like they're just normal <laughs> um so at times it's been like a little bit difficult um like not to compare yourself to other people but you just need to understand that it's your own journey and I trust my coach and that if I wasn't where I needed to be my calories would have been cut down a lot more and my steps definitely would have been brought up um because I know there's a lot of people out there who are on like 10k steps a day people doing like cardio for an hour in the morning fasted and I'm not doing any of that um so I definitely kind of trust my coach and I'm trusting the process and then hopefully it just all goes well fingers crossed so that's that really uh, it's my first update I'm going to try and do these probably not every week uh, maybe like every two weeks definitely every month at least um, obviously if there's big changes then there'll probably be more updates um, if there's not anything changing then I'll probably wait another week um, but yeah I'll put a little photo up of where I started and where I am at the minute here now obviously when I did my first one um, I didn't know how to pose so obviously it's not kind of a perfect before and after because obviously when you pose you emphasize different parts and um, so I might also put up another photo now which is my first posed one and my last posed one um, so you can kind of see where I am especially because my posing has improved as well um, yeah so that's that obviously if anyone's got any questions let me know um, because obviously when I was younger I really tried to find someone out there who was a vegan um, bikini athlete there was one that I found but she was in America and all the food that she had was American and there was like this extra protein injected tofu which was like super high in protein and that's like she had loads of it um, but you can't get that in England so that's not happening um, yeah so I might also do like a what I eat in the day video which might be quite useful um, if there is other plant based people out here um, so you can kind of see what I eat on a daily basis um, but yeah lovely that is that um, I hope you enjoyed this video hopefully it was a little bit interesting um, to kind of see what I'm up to and what I'm doing and I will speak to you later bye